I've always liked skating. Peter Harrington got his first pair of skates when he was three years old, and it was love at first ice. It's my first love. I always go to it. If I have a bad day, it kind of puts me in a better mood. This past spring, when Peter was nearing the end of his freshman year of school in Moundsview, he came down with a cold and got a sinus infection for the first time. After a visit to the clinic and a prescription for antibiotics, Peter was seemingly back to normal, even playing in a hockey tournament. But about a week later, he suddenly became sick again. We've characterized it as just, just falling off a cliff, mm -hmm. health-wise. I mean, he, he fell off a cliff. How rapidly he deteriorated was just something we still struggle with. Then we noticed that his hand became rigid. You couldn't release his fingers. And at that point, we were panicking, thinking, you know, there's something seriously wrong. That's when we took him to the ER. It was clear Peter needed much more serious attention. And the Harringtons were rushed by ambulance here to Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. Dr. Joe Petronio quickly examined Peter, who had become unresponsive. I was extremely concerned. Can't emphasize, he was extremely critically ill. Uh, he was at a point where he was already starting to um, uh, go through a cascade of events that usually results in, in death. The bacteria that was involved in Peter's initial sinus infection had essentially penetrated his skull and invaded his brain. Dr. Petronio immediately took Peter to the operating room. He would need a decompressive craniotomy, an operation that would remove a portion of his skull. He said his brain was swelling at a rate that they had to essentially open his skull to allow his brain to expand outside of his skull. Otherwise, he wouldn't survive. So at that point, I think the shock really set in. It's considered a heroic or a salvage operation. I mean, it's, it's sort of a last ditch effort to, uh, to save somebody's life that is in, uh, in uh, uh, extremely dire straits. Peter survived the operation, but remained in extremely critical condition. Doctors kept him in a medically induced coma for nearly two weeks. As he was slowly weaned off sedation medication, Peter began to respond to lights, sounds, and eventually to his parents. I just want him to wake up. I want to look at him and I want him to look at me. When that happened and you realize that he recognizes me, he knows who I am, he's probably confused and scared and doesn't understand where he is, but he sees me and I see him, so I think there was reassurance for both of us at that time. While he was in the hospital, Peter went through an intense routine of physical therapy, keeping one goal in mind, to get back on the ice. Peter spent nearly two months in the hospital. He went home this past June 26th, happy to spend time with friends and family, which includes his twin sister, Carolyn, and younger brother, James. In September, Peter got the news that he had been hoping for, that he could start playing hockey again. Hearing that from Dr. Petronio was pretty shocking and overwhelming, so. And what was your reaction? I was pretty happy, yeah. Knowing that he's back, enjoying it, you can see that he's just back in his element. It's part of his identity, he loves it. Peter still has some slight weakness on his left side, but otherwise is perfectly healthy. His progress has been remarkable. One doctor who helped treat Peter when he was at his worst has been stunned by his recovery. He shook his hand and he looked at me and then he looked at Peter and he just flat out said, you're old enough to understand this. He said, you are a miracle. He said, you're the reason why I do my job. And it really does hit you. The Harringtons say the love and support they received from their hockey community helped them get through an incredibly difficult time and they are forever grateful to see their healthy son reunited with his first love. When your kids walk out the door, there's a little something more now in our lives. I think that's, that's walking out the door. Um, it's just cherish and enjoy them. You value every moment and cherish every moment.